Hey folks, Charles here with Project Swan. Project Swan has met with its first hiccup. Toby Brown has had to back out as director. Now let me emphasize that it's through no fault of his own and definitely not through his own choosing. And in fact, given the situation, I'd probably do exactly the same thing and I could only hope to have, ha to have handled it as professionally and as timely as Toby did. Let me say I'm very happy with how he handled it. As you know, sometimes life just gets in the way, and that's what's happened with Toby. And he feels as though he would not be able to dedicate 100% or 110% of his time and efforts to Project Swan in the way that he should. So he brought it about to my attention. He did it with a pretty good amount of time left. He didn't let it fester, he didn't let it wait till the last minute as we would start rolling into production. As soon as he saw a problem, he brought it to my attention and we talked it over. And uh, I felt really good after I had a conversation with him. I, I, of course, a couple days after it came to our attention, or came to his attention, he brought it to my attention. A couple days later, we spoke on the phone. And I came away from that conversation feeling quite a bit better actually about Project Swan. Not that I was feeling bad about it before. <clears throat> As I said from day one during the announcement video, I continually get this feeling that this is the right project at the right time and that it's a good thing that, that we're all getting involved with. There were a couple of days there after Toby came to me with this that there was a huge cloud of uncertainty hovering over my head and over Toby's head, I'm sure, about what we're going to do. And I actually walked away from that conversation feeling better about Project Swan. Not that I felt bad for, about it to begin with. I actually have felt really good about it since day one. It's just the way he handled himself, the way he handled the situation, I walked away feeling even better more streamlined and more focused on everything that needs to be done. Having said that, I think that I would be incredibly remiss and I would be acting in a disservice to Project Swan if I did not keep Toby on under some capacity. Toby has been with this production since day one. So that allows Toby a certain unique perspective that only the three of us men really share. He has three and a half months of pre-production and counseling and just sort of brainstorming that no one else can, can possibly have who steps in on the project right now. Not to say that no one else is going to have the intellectual capacity or creativity to meet or even better Toby. I'm just saying Toby's in a unique situation where if I didn't keep him on under some capacity, I might actually be doing damage to the production. So Toby has agreed, and he actually seemed very enthusiastic when I brought this up on the phone with him. He has agreed to stay on as a creative counselor to myself and to the project as a whole. He may also do one of the fake trailers because it should only take a day or maybe a weekend to shoot one of the trailers. So Toby is not completely out of the, out of Project Swan. He just simply had to shift from director to something else and we found that something else. Now immediately after I of course called Ian because Ian deserves to know everything that's going on and I let him know <clears throat> and Ian and I go way back so we just kinda chit chatted for a while but we ended our conversation, our like 45 minute conversation, with about 10-15 minutes talking about his particular movie and about the production as a whole. Something that he and I had not done really to date because he's been busy with prior obligations. So I've checked in with him here and there, you, you thinking of stuff and everything, and he has been. But this was our first conversation pretty much from since day one, where we got the opportunity and we created the opportunity to speak about the production and Ian it seemed incredibly amped 
to do his short film. And of course that revitalized me and it made me feel even better about the production. So thank you Ian, thank you Toby for your incredible professionalism, for handling it the way that you did. I know that if the roles re were reversed, one, I would have done exactly the, as you had and hoped to have handled it as well as you had, and two, I know you're probably heartbroken and it's okay. <laughs> You know, things happen. Things happen on a production, and sometimes life gets in the way. You have to deal with stuff before you move on. That all being said, I am now being proactive in finding a director to replace Toby to fill his role as director for Sunset Blues, formerly Sunset Blues. I'm, I'm thinking as executive producer, I'm going to change the name to the $400 Kiss. So I am looking for a director. If you're a director out there, you need some experience, uh, you enjoy guerrilla filmmaking, let me know. You can get in touch with me on Facebook through or through Twitter. Be sure to check all of those things out. And let me end by saying Project Swan is still healthy, it's still vital, it's still valid, and it's still rolling on. So let's keep making this movie.